Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, I got an awesome video for you. So today, guys, what we're doing here is going to be covering the hoverboard in Fortnite Save the World. It is a new item, or fairly new item, that was recently added in to the game. And it's this awesome thing right here. You hold down Q once you've gotten it, and it allows you to travel faster without wasting stamina. Pretty nice item, sure. Um, but is it all is it all as great as it looks or cracked up to be? Well, I'm here to tell you not necessarily. I, it is a good item for this, but I feel like they, that um, Epic could have done better with this item. And I'm here to t review the item as an overall whole, and then tell you my wants in uh, hopes for the future of this item, being that as it is right now it's not entirely all that great as I personally think so guys I hope you enjoy the video now let's get into it so let's first start off with how you achieve the um hoverboard you first you have to once you first get the mission for it which is also part of the in a way part of the Valentine's Day event but how you get it is you come here to this car or ten of these cars and you destroy them and once you've destroyed them, it drops apart. And once you've collected all 10, you get the hoverboard. It's not a very complicated mission, and it could be kind of tedious if you're not looking in cities, which is where you have to recommend. But yeah, this is all sort of tied into the Valentine's Day event. And um, overall, it's not a terrible item. And like I said, once you achieve it, you just hold down Q while not doing anything, and you unlock it. Um... It's not a bad item, uh, it has decent handling, decent speed, so it is faster than running by far, like, you can only run so fast, whereas this, with no stamina, any, no stamina is wasted. But it does have its downsides, and that's what I wanted to talk about next, is its pros and cons in its current state. So the only real pro it gives you is a higher jump, unless you're a ninja, so it's about a little, just under a wall length. Survivor in danger. And then there's the um, speed, obviously. It is by far faster than running. I've We've tested this in on my buddy Joe's channel. We even did a little race. If you want to go check that out, a link to his channel is always down in the description below. And guys, go congratulate him on breaking 11k subs. But yeah, so it's current speed is okay its jump is okay um it's handling it's handling is kind of sloppy so if you go forward and then you stop you go to turn to stop you do dr you do glide a little bit so like if you just stop I like I pulled off the keyboard like I'll, I'll you just it you you sort of glide across when you go to stop so it kind of makes it hard for taking turns and then yeah um so that's overall it's not bad um how it looks um if i can find a picture online you'll see on screen now a full part of it but i'm also going to try to look at it as in like this up oh. um it, it's not it's not a terrible weapon like i said or wow weapon wow board it's not a terrible board to use sorry about that guys i had to step away for one brief second so we were at how it looks how the hoverboard looks isn't terrible it's sort of a lot of people keep pointing out it's sort of like uh biff's board i think is his name from back to the future which is what this whole thing was based off of and it sort of does i just find it very dull it's very black and standard looking and i just don't like it all that much it, it has no real place well, it's not that it doesn't have a place, it's just very dull. It feels very bland, and since everyone gets one of these for free, with no form of purchase or really any real effort, I feel like it's kind of a letdown. They could have, I feel like they could have done something better. Um, obviously, it, it's pretty nice to use. I tend to forget about it from time to time, with it being um, a, you know, hoverboard. But I, I tend to get over that 
factoid pretty quickly. Um, it, it doesn't look bad. I just wish it looked better or there was a bit more customizing. Which brings me into the cons. So, there are quite a few cons in this thing, as I was saying earlier. So, overall, it doesn't have bad speed, handling, jump, or maneuverability. But where these aren't bad, they're not good either. So, like I was saying, it's handling. Um, as we were racing in my buddy Joe's video the other day, if you fall off the edge you take and you take damage, you take a good chunk and the board breaks. So the board has no durability whatsoever. Um, I mean, even if I come over to like one of these guys and I let them hit me, the board just breaks. There's, there's nothing, it doesn't have like a one, two hit. And if you're in the process of summoning it, when you get hit, then you also take more damage. It, it just stops making it or it stops summoning it. So, I mean, that's sort of the con of the board is it's just... It's a good item, but it's not a great item. It's not a real big game changer. Um, yeah, so you have to break 10 hot rod cards to get it. And then once you have it, you have the same thing that everyone else has in the looks. Um, I was really looking forward to this being something like where people could at least choose their own color. So it's a little bit more unique between you and your friends, but really it's not. So that sort of segues me into the next part of the vi this video that I wanted to talk about was its overall um, what I would like to see for in the future so as of right now I feel like Epic Games has introduced a really unique and awesome item but at the same time I just feel like it's sort of like an under understatement like I've, I don't use it all the time I don't really have a motivation or a drive to use it and I even forget it exists from time to time um, with it being such a bland item. Sure, it's helpful and it does things for me, but past that, I don't use it. Like, travel, it makes it faster, I guess, if I'm trying to explore a whole map in one go. It makes it very fast to get to my checkpoints. But I just feel like I'm... It's just not a memorable item to use. Like, I realized once my stamina runs out that, oh yeah, I have this hoverboard I can use. So here's what I'd like to see them change in the future. Um, board customization. So that might be like one of those things that a lot of people don't care about, but I find that it's just a bland item. I would like to, you know, be able to change maybe the shape and the color. Like it's a black and yellow board with rockets. I don't, I don't think, you know, some skin customization or color palette customization in your armory or anywhere on that sort of home screen would break the game or break the game's logic you're just literally changing the color of a handful of things and it would just be already infinitely better um past that what else was there i didn't move that um i guess the next thing i wanted to talk about was a sort of a boost key so like if you hold shift down so if you hold shift down while playing, you run. But when you hold shift down with the board, it does nothing. And that is to be expected being that, you know, it's a hoverboard, I guess. It doesn't need to go faster. Why would it, why would it, would I, why do I think it would be better if it went faster? Well, it would just allow the opportunity for more races. So. If you guys don't know, once you complete a Storm Shield and get it to its max rank 10, you can't you can't increase it anymore. You have all this open space and a base that you're probably either going to com tear completely down because it looks hideous like mine, or you're just going to leave and never return to. So what I would like to see them do is allow, you know, give a boost feature for like maybe at home bases for you and your friends so you guys can race. That'd be kind of awesome. It, would, it doesn't have to be long. It could just be like a short increase of speed for a short time period. You know, just a small boost. It just goes vroom and goes faster. Like, I didn't think that would be terrible. Um, what else do I have for you? Yeah, I mean, it would just also make for faster map travel. 
And then handling, I could, I can live with the current handling of it. I would like it that maybe if they added in like a quick break or something that you can press, that you can map. So like, if I hit, um, what is it, caps lock, it just stops the board really fast. I mean, yes, I could just hit Q and that does the same thing, but I hate having that I have to resummon it. I mean, overall, I don't think it's terrible of what they could do to this. Um, a couple of other random ideas I had is instead of, you know, letting the player choose to customize the board in any color or design they want, maybe add in skins for the boards or unique hoverboards in loot llamas, the upgrade llamas and stuff like that, so that you can, um, get, just get better looking stuff. And that would be the overall, those are the overall wants I want for this thing is... It's not a very difficult item to change up. I mean, maybe increase its durability. They're just there's just small things I could see them doing better with this. And I would also like to see them add in an abil like a race game mode for this cuz you now have a hoverboard and if they released maps that you could earn prizes for completing races against other players, that'd be really cool. But guys, I think that will do it for this video. Um, I honestly don't see this getting much, too much, um, looked upon in the future by, uh, Epic. Because they tend to not look at stuff like that. But, um, tell me what you guys think down below for this, um, Fortnite video. Because, honestly, I would like to see upgrades to this item. It's such a weird, we, it's such a unique item that they've added in. But I feel like it's so underutilized. And with that being said, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I will see you all later. Peace.